Louis, the state says this was murder, but the defense is calling this self-defense. And we spoke to the defendant in this case last night. He thinks he will beat this case. Opening statements began in Courtney Britton's trial for the murder of Joshua Caraballo and attempted murder of Robert Fulton, April of 2021. Britton's lawyer told the jury this began when he was robbed of a gold chain near Tiny's Liquors off Northwest 22nd Avenue in Miami, offering a demonstration as part of her opening. He says, give me all your You heard me. Give me all your Tuesday evening, we sat down with Britton, who describes the moments leading up to the shooting. And he pushes it in my chest harder. That's how I know it was a gun. I felt the metal. He said, give me all your And then he popped the chain off that I had. That is when Britton says he got a gun himself. I unholstered and fired one round. His defense team says the shot was a warning. Mr. Britton was trying to warn them. Did you know at that moment that you had shot someone? No. You didn't know? Okay. No, 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 no. The bullet hit the two men, killing Caraballo and injuring Fulton. Britton did not know the two, but were having casual conversation in a parking lot. The state says while the victim started it, this was not self-defense. Instead, a rage-filled shooting. Britton left the scene, but cooperated in the hours after the shooting and was arrested three months later. The victim's family was in the courtroom, but say they are not ready to talk yet. Britton did say that he refused a recent plea deal and he also plans to testify in his own defense. But now we're live in Miami, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Bridget, thank you.